Hey, what's up you guys? Today we're going to be recreating this beautiful look that just keeps popping up on my For You page. Patrick Ta did Sydney Sweeney's makeup. When I saw this, I'm like, damn, he really glammed her up. Like this is a, oof. I am really loving this look. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look, keep on watching. I know you're probably wondering, god damn, why is this so ashy right here? Ignore that, I'm trying out this primer because I really don't want to get Botox and I want to see if it actually works. And this lovely lady told me that I'm beautiful and that I don't need it right now. She was in her 40s and she looked amazing and that's when she started getting Botox and filler, so. I'm using my Patrick Ta number three major dimension. I have a feeling that he probably used this palette because the look that she got going on is very cool tone and smoky and just beautiful. So I'm gonna start out with these two colors right here. I'm gonna mix them and we're not gonna go directly into the crease. We're gonna go above and this is the first time that I'm gonna try a doe-eyed makeup look. I'm always doing siren eyes, foxy eyes because my eyes are like naturally like an almond shape. Let's see how this goes. So instead of that lighter shade, I'm just gonna go in with this one because it's a little bit too light. I'm just gonna build this shade here. And then with the warmer brown right here, I'm going to use this to buff it out. Alright, I'm going to go in with this lighter brown at the top. Smoke out the outer corner and we're gonna use that darker cool tone shade in the palette and then go back in with that brown shade and we're gonna add just a little bit right here just to like diffuse this area so the brow bone color that she has it looks ooh, it looks more her skin tone so we're not gonna go super bright in this area. Try to find a shade that's like slightly, ever so slightly lighter than you so you can see a little bit of definition. I'm gonna mix a little bit of that darker brown with, a, with the tiniest of black. This look is so challenging for me because I don't usually do looks like this i'm always doing like very elongated angled looks so this is different for me i'm gonna take some of my p louise base in number two and i'm not gonna do a, a harsh cut crease i'm gonna do a soft cut crease i'm gonna do it with like a fluffy brush Okay, and then just set this with the lightest um, beige color in the palette and I'm gonna just slightly go over this area right here and kind of like diffuse it a little bit because it's not a really intense crease. So just blend this out. And this is the part where my mic decides to die on me. But the tutorial must go on. I am not going to give up. So we're going to do an old school voiceover. It's going to come back on when I start doing my lipstick. So we're going to go in with that Major Dimension palette into the black eyeshadow. And we're going to smudge that liner. I take a fluffy detailed brush and I proceed to keep blending to give it that nice diffused look. Now we're going to use my one size concealer. I'm using the darker shade to color correct. And then I take a dense brush to blend all of that in. For foundation we're going to use the Danessa Myricks 
beauty balm in number seven. Ooh, look at that swipe it's exactly my color but it is a little warm but look at this beautiful natural glow from within that is giving me i think this is going to be my next go-to after that we're going to highlight with our lightest shade of the one size concealer i got a little scared because i felt like it was a little too pale so i'm also going to mix it with my hourglass concealer and teak fan out your concealer this is going to give you a lot more coverage and then we're gonna blend that out with that same dense concealer brush. To contour slash bronze, we're gonna go in with the Fenty Matchstick in Truffle. To set under my eyes, you guys know I always use a pressed powder first. This is the Kosas Pressed Powder in Pillowy. And then after that, we're going to use another Kosas Powder in Softly. This is going to be more my skin tone. And we're going to use that on the perimeter of the face to avoid any type of flashback. I'm trying out this Sephora Velour Puff for the first time with my one size ultra pink powder. I fucking hate this powder puff so much. It sucks so bad. Like, I'm just going to stick to using my Beauty Blender one because, oh my god, this is the worst powder puff I ever used in my life. Sorry for the people that like it, but this shit sucks. This powder puff is ass. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Moving on, I'm using my favorite bronzers from Charlotte Tilbury. This is shade number three. I don't want to go too dark because her contour slash bronzer is very soft in this picture. And then whatever I contour my face with, I use that for my nose contour as well. For blush, we're using one of my favorite pro palettes. This is the Hindash Beautopsy eyeshadow palette, but it's multi-use. You can use it for blush, to set your makeup, to brighten up your under eye. It's just a perfect palette. Everyone should get it. And then to set my face, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It smells divine. It sets beautifully. And then I'm going to use my foundation brush to just melt in that makeup to make it look a lot more natural and then i'm using my rare beauty highlight and flaunt just a tad bit just to give me a natural glow now to complete the eye we're going to use our sephora gel pencil liner and we're going to smudge it on the bottom too okay so lashes are on finally now we're going to move on to the lips the lashes i have on lily lashes in blushing these are her more like natural lashes i've really been into lashes like this so that you can really see the eyeshadow look so now we're going to move on to the lips makeup forever lip liner in 608 To blend everything out and to make it a little lighter, I'm going to use another Makeup Forever pencil in 506. For lipstick, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Yes Honey. I want to bring a little bit of warmth to this because I feel like it's looking a little on the cooler side so i'm gonna use a bit of this anastasia lipstick in soft brown and i'm gonna just give one last spritz on the face okay you guys this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a beautiful positive comment down below and i'll see you guys soon